Hello everyone and welcome to Metagame Mastery, where it's not just about what the card does, but how it impacts the game. Commander 2018 preview season is upon us, and today we get to take a look at the official spoiler for Lord Windgrace and tons of Jund good stuff. If you enjoy our content, click that subscribe button so you get access to all our latest videos, and if you're looking to support the channel, maybe pre-order your Commander 2018 deck, check out our Amazon affiliate link in the description below. Without further ado, big time! Go! time let's go this is the official preview card for lord Windgrace. much higher picture quality than the leak we looked at yesterday this card is great allowing you to build up loyalty very quickly and giving you ramp card advantage and lastly a six for one is on his ultimate is not bad economy i really like this commander and one of the alternate commanders that comes in the deck is thanatus the war weaver he's six cmc three colorless and jund that's black red green for a five five legendary creature spider with vigilance and reach all creatures attack each combat if able whenever a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control put a plus one plus one counter on him so this guy's neat just for the fact that he really messes with the political situation. He makes everybody attack everybody. Also, he gives he gains advantage from people attacking you. If you draw aggro, then he just gets really nuts. He also plays very well with cards like Hardened Scales, allowing a plus one plus one uh, synergy deck to really get nuts. Gyrus, the Weaker of Corpses, is X and Jund, black, red, green, for a 0 0 legendary Hydra. He enters the battlefield with a number of plus one plus one counters on him equal to the amount of mana spent to cast him. Now, that's important in the fact that it takes into account uh, commander tax, and even if you pay 0 for X, he enters the battlefield as a 3 3. Now, whenever he attacks, you may exile target creature card with lesser power from your graveyard. If you do create a token that's a copy of that card, and it's tapped and attacking, exile the token at the end of combat. So there's a lot going on with this one. Tremendous value coming out of your command zone. Plays very well with cards like Hardened Scales, um, Doubling Season, and Parallel Lives. I mean, there's so many janky combos that you can put together with this guy, including Sundial of the Infinite will allow you to keep those tokens indefinitely. Blood Tracker is 4 CMC, 3 colorless, and a black for a 2-2 Vampire Wizard with flying. You could pay 1 black and 2 life to put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on him. When he leaves the battlefield, draw a card for each plus 1 plus 1 counter on him. So he's kind of a combination between a uh, Shade or uh, Sanger Vampire and Greed. He will work particularly well in decks like Marchesa the Black Rose, where he he can be destroyed with say uh, Sack Outlet or Board Wipes, whatever the case may be, and immediately brought back. Also playing well with the plus one plus one counter strategy in this deck is Loyal Guardian. He is 5 CMC, 4 colorless, and a green for a 4-4 Rhino with Trample. He has Lieutenant. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if you control your commander, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. That's a lot of value, and he doesn't even have to attack in order for this to trigger. This guy's going to play very nicely with tons of commanders out there, tons of plus one plus one counter strategies. I like him a lot, and he's part of a new cycle of lieutenants that don't require you to attack to trigger their ability, such as Loyal Subordinate, 3 CMC, 2 colorless, and a black for a 3-1 zombie with menace. He has lieutenant at the beginning of combat on your turn. If you could control your commander, each opponent loses 3 life. Now, this one is less exciting than the others. Um not particularly great i suppose if you're doing say a life drain scarab god strategy he could fit in there okay 
Loyal Drake is 3 CMC, 2 colors, and a blue for a 2-2 two, two Drake with flying and lieutenant. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if you control your commander, draw a card. Just fine value, getting that additional card advantage for your second main phase and beyond every single turn. Oil Apprentice is 2 CMC, 1 colors, and a red for a 2-1 Human Artificer with Haste and Lieutenant. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if you control your commander, create a 1-1 colorless Thopter Artifact Creature token with flying. That token gains haste until end of turn. Wow! That is just such a value card. I mean, it's super aggressive and super synergistic with the Artifact Token theme of the Izzet deck just absolutely my favorite lieutenant they've of this cycle zanja sleeper agent is three cmc one colorless black and red for a five five legendary minion when it enters the battlefield an opponent of your choice gains control of it it attacks each combat of fable and can't attack its owner or planeswalkers its owner controls any player can pay three colorless mana and its controller will lose two life and that player draws a card. So this is a way to kick things off early. Get a fat body on the board. On turn three, great value there, ahead of curve, and comes out swinging. All the while protecting yourself and making it so that you don't draw aggro. You can direct where everybody else wants to hit what i dislike about this is that anybody can start drawing cards off of it that can get out of control real fast that said watch out for this guy if you're packing sack outlets if you're not packing sack outlets you're going to want to just so that you can get rid of this as soon as it touches your board Nesting Dragon is 5 CMC, 3 colorless red red for a 5-4 dragon with flying. It also has landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, create a 0-2 red dragon egg creature token with defender. And when this creature dies, create a 2-2 red dragon creature token with flying and pay 1 red. This creature gets plus 2, plus 0 until end of turn. An awesome token generator to add to lands matters decks this is probably the best lands matter card in the deck so far outside of lord wing grace will play very well with cards like omnath locust of rage and it generates a ton of tokens which we can throw into a sack outlet or we can use reality scramble it's four cmc two colorless red red for a sorcery put target permanent card you own on the bottom of your library reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a card that shares a card type with that permanent put that card onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order this also has retrace you may cast this card from your graveyard by discarding a land card in addition to paying its other costs, allowing you to continuously sack the egg tokens to dig through your deck for creatures. And when paired with Lord Windgrace's ability to bring those lands back into play, you'll get more landfall triggers, creating a huge value loop. Really cool aspect of the deck. Crash of Rhino Beetles is 5 CMC, 4 colorless, and a green for a 5-5 five, five insect with trample. It gets plus 10, plus 10, as long as you control 10 or more lands. Wow, this guy's awesome. Plays really well with Xenagos and Omnath. Emissary of Grudges is 6 CMC, 5 colorless, and a red for a 6-5 Afrit with flying in haste. As it enters the battlefield, secretly choose an opponent. Reveal the player you chose. Choose new targets for target spell or ability if it's controlled by the chosen player and if it targets a permanent you control. Activate this ability only once. So this guy is sweet. He's a uh, redirect stapled on to a 6-5 flying haste body. That's really sweet. And on top of that, not only is that good value, 
but it's exploitable. All you have to do is flicker this guy, reanimate this guy, whatever the case may be, and it resets, allowing you to continuously redirect uh, anything that's targeting your dudes. Very, very cool card. Miptong Hydra is 6 CMC, 5 colors, and a green for a 4-4 Lizard Hydra with Reach. When it enters the battlefield, destroy all creatures with flying. Put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it for each creature destroyed this way. This guy's awesome. He's a freaking whirlwind stapled onto a Bane of Progress. I love this card. Wind Grace's Judgment is... 5 CMC, 3 colorless, black and a green for an instant. For any number of opponents, destroy target non-land permanent that player controls. Incredible value. Right out the gate, if you drop this, it's at instant speed, and you can hit any target, whether it be planeswalkers, enchantments, artifacts, creatures, any target for each and every player. But the cool thing about this is it you don't have to it's any number of opponents so if you have an alliance with someone you can choose to spare them tremendous versatility at instant speed for a perfectly reasonable cost great card medelkin humiliator is four cmc three colors and a blue for a three four Videlkin wizard whenever it attacks if you control three or more artifacts creatures your opponents control lose all abilities and have base power toughness 1-1 one, one until end of turn. Wow. This thing's a powerhouse. Attacking in, they have to quadruple block it in order to trade off with it. And at the same time, it makes your opponent's creatures so vulnerable. Stripping them of regenerate shields, indestructibility, hexproof, shroud, you name it. This thing is incredibly powerful especially with pa when paired with cards that deal damage to all creatures all you have to do is ping your opponent's creatures for one and you've got a one-sided board wipe absolute powerhouse Brundaclad telchor engineer is six cmc Four colorless, blue, and a red for a 4-4 four, four legendary artifact creature artificer. Creature tokens you control have haste. At the beginning of combat on your turn, create a 2-1 blue mer artifact creature token. Then you may choose a token you control. If you do, each other token you control becomes a copy of that token. So this was a card that was previewed yesterday. Came out a little bit late uh, after I'd already posted my video but is actually freaking phenomenal. What it does is it allows you to turn all of all of the tokens you generate, no matter what they are, into copies of something. This plays really well with cards like Kiki Jiki the Mirror Breaker. It plays really well with cards like Rite of Replication and cards like Echo Storm is a card we looked at yesterday create a token that's a copy of target artifact. it doesn't even have to be your own you could choose any artifact on the board and the previous card will allow you to turn all of your tokens into a copy of it absolutely nuts here we have a foreign language preview it's ancient stone idol 10 colorless mana for a 12 12 artifact creature golem with flash it costs one less to cast for each attacking creature. It has trample, and when it dies, you create a 612 colorless construct artifact creature token with trample. So I like this one a lot because you it's a massive body that you can flash into play, really mess with combat math, and if your opponent's going wide, then you can do this potentially even for free. And it has the resiliency. If a board wipe hits, that just reduces its power by half. Not to mention, it creates an artifact which can be cloned by the cards we just looked at. Very cool interaction in the Is It deck. Fury Storm is 4 CMC, 2 colors, red, red for an instant. When you cast this spell, copy it 
for each time you cast your commander from the command zone this game. You may choose new targets for the copies. Copy target instant or sorcery spell. You may choose new targets for that copy. Okay, so you like copying things? Have some copies for your copies. Copy time. Xerox does not endorse this product. That's it for today. If you enjoy our content, click that subscribe button so you get access to all our latest videos. And if you're looking to support the channel, click that Amazon affiliate link in the description below. Maybe pre-order your Commander 2018 deck. This has been Metagame Mastery. Peace!